You are welcome to today's broadcast. Sure Destiny TV, reaching people and touching lives. Greetings, fellow citizens. I don't know about you, but I know that everybody is getting prepared for the 25th of February. I'm calling upon all Nigerians to be on a lot. I'm calling on INEP. I'm calling on the different political parties. I'm calling on the electorates to be on a lot. Some of the presidential candidates are very, very desperate. Somebody like Tinubu will do everything in his power to ensure by hook or by crook that he wins this election. And I can tell you the chances are very high that he will not play according to the rules. You say, okay, what are my facts? But I want to tell you there are too many questions around Tinubu. There are many red flags around Tinubu. We know about his health. You know Tinubu said it is his turn. That means it is time for him to be president by hook or by crook. He said he made Buhari president. He is the king maker. Since he has helped others, now it is his turn. Everywhere he goes, he is saying it is his turn. It is now his own turn. So the Nigerian state becoming president is by turn by turn. So it's by hook or by crook. He said they will seize it. He says, I'm running. When he was with the Oba of Benin, what did he say? He was asking the Oba to bless him, almost like forcing him to bless him. And I'm so happy the Oba of Benin did not even make reference to what Tinubu went there for. He's saying that after Buhari leaves Asoro, it is him that will take over there. He's not even thinking about the electorate. He's speaking as if he already has his plans to ensure that he is the president. We had rumors in the past, and we downplayed those rumors, and we all suffered the consequences of not rising up to ensure that we are not taken unawares. Because you must know, people like Tinubu are determined to take power by force. Tinubu is a master of thugs. He will use the thugs. We are hearing that he's already enlisting people that will go out as thugs. I'm calling on the security. I'm calling on the intelligence. I'm calling on the president. I'm calling upon INEC. I'm calling on EFCC and everyone that is in position of authority. Please do the needful. We want peace in this nation. We have suffered enough. Too many people have died. Nigerians want change. Let's allow the will of the people to be realized. Nobody should be allowed to come in and cause confusion during this election. I heard that some people are being paid already to surrender their PVC or they are being paid to vote ahead of time using the beavers. It may just be speculation, but let's not downplay anything during this time. Tinubu has showed his desperation. He said recently again in Abe Okuta that they are trying to sabotage. Who is trying to sabotage him? He's like speaking to his own party. And so, because he's desperate, let's not underestimate Tinubu. Nigerians, let's be on alert. Somebody may say, but, oh, you know, you're just speculating, you're just speculating. Is it not better to check and be sure of something than just throwing it away? Why should all the rumors about thugs be around Tinubu? And you know he can do anything. So please, Nigerians, let's be on the watch. Don't allow yourself to be bought. We have suffered enough, and it is time that we allow this nation to be free from the hands of this evil politician. What amount of suffering do we have to go through before we take our nation back from these wicked people? I want INEC, I want the security to please check and see. Is it a rumor? Because there's something that's going around on social media. People are already being paid and they are using their PVC and they are told not to go for the election and that they will just put in their votes. So instead of throwing it away, check, be sure, let the intelligence go to work. Everybody should be alert right now. Don't take chances. You can still vote and it becomes a wasted vote. We can't trust everybody that's working with INEC. INEC, please check your staff. Don't just come and tell us that you have everything, the machines are going to work. The machines are handled by human beings. And if the human beings have already been compromised, then the whole process of a free, fair election is also compromised. Please do what you need to do. Don't leave any stone unturned. 
There are doubts around Tinubu. Please, you people, check Tinubu. He came with faith bishops because of desperation. He did Muslim Muslim ticket because of desperation. Amy Loco because of desperation. Talked about the fuel crisis and that it is a sabotage against him. How did he come about this? Why is it just around him? We know Atiku has been running and running over the years, but he seems to have the spirit of sportsmanship. Anytime he loses, he comes back again. But Tinubu is not a good loser. You never can tell what Tinubu is capable of doing when he loses election. Buhari has lost many elections until he made it in 2015. Tinubu is not prepared to lose. He wants to take power by all means, by hook and by crook. And Nigerians, the simple way to stop his agenda from being forced on Nigerians is that everybody must go out at once and vote for the right person. Tinubu's health, we can see he cannot govern Nigeria. A person that cannot coordinate, it's too obvious. And why should people like Keamu and the others be following him? And then when he's talking, the blah, blah, blue, then they are there laughing. You can see these people don't really care about Nigeria. Somebody that's supposed to be a smart lawyer like Keamu. See what he's doing because they've been bought by Tinubu. But I want to let Nigerians know that this time around, Tinubu's money will fail him. It is time for us to please get up. Let's wake up. Let your ears be open. Let your eyes be open. Let's not just go like zombies. Let's check what's going on, what's going on. And if anybody, you've got information, bring it out. Let's get it now. Don't wait until after then you come and say, oh, and I, I had this, I had this. Whether it is rumor, go and report it. Any suspicious action, any suspicious move that we can see, Let's report it so that this coming election will truly be free, fair, and credible. At least we can see that President Buhari is determined, is bent on ensuring a free, fair, and credible election. So at least let's have something we can celebrate him for. We shouldn't allow anybody to sabotage this process. Please, everyone, get your PVC and INET. Please don't frustrate the process of people collecting PVC. So please, I next staff, wherever you are, southeast, southwest, south, south, in the north, please remember prosperity. Don't allow yourself be used in the hands of this evil politician. Nigerians, please, from the first voting on the 25th, let's make it so clear that Nigerians don't want Tinubu. You are asking me, why don't I want Tinubu? Because there are too many doubts around him. Do we want to take chances again? Let's do the needful. From the first voting, let's vote Tinubu down so that there's nothing like a rerun. Every obedient, go out there. You are the ones that want change. And anybody that has been tired of insecurity, you are tired of corruption, you are tired of lack of electricity, the system's not working, everything is completely down in our nation. You know the state of our economy, the way people are embezzling. That's why everybody must go out let's vote for change we've been saying the northerners have governed southwest have governed south south have governed the only region that has not produced a president is southeast and we have obi standing there with baba Ahmed. so let's give them a chance nigerian let's go out and vote and you've got your pvc don't let anybody pay you money to make you vote ahead of time do you know one thing we don't realize is that a desperate person, no matter what you put as a system, because human beings are involved in this system, they can do everything they know. While we are working, campaigning, people like Obi and some of the other political parties are going around saying, I will do this, I will do this. Tinubu in his campaign basically is not talking about what he's going to do. You hear him, Buhari, Buhari. You know that the language is not even coordinated. And the people are following him, the field of stadium, because people have been bribed, have been given money to come to the rallies. And that's the same system he would want to use. Tinubu does not mind bribing. He doesn't mind releasing talks to ensure that he becomes president by hook or by crook. They may go around and chase people away from voting. So please, Ainet, do the needful. Please don't say, no, you've got everything fine. Everything is fine. They, everything was fine, but see what has happened with Oshun election. We don't want this to happen after the presidential election. 
We want peace. We want at least to go forward so that a new Nigeria can be back. God has given us a window of an opportunity in Peter Obi and Baba Ahmed. Let's give them a chance. Nigerians, we don't need to waste our time. Let them campaign. Let them campaign. They've already told us what they will do. They will create a new economy. Prosperity will flourish. Agriculture everywhere. Instead of just depending on oil. Corruption will be a thing of the past. Because nobody has been able to pin or be down or Baba Ahmed on corruption. But Tinubu and Atiku, there are questions around them. So I am pleading, please Nigerians, let's do the needful. Nigerians, you will not say you were not told. Because a lot of times people want to wait until it is too late before they wake up. And then they say, oh, and this we were told. I didn't know this was not just a rumor, it was for real. You think Tinubu is for joke? You think Tinubu, with all that he has done, the desperation is showing, he is bent on doing whatever he can. Tinubu is not bigger than Nigeria, and none of the other presidential aspirants is bigger than Nigeria. Preserving Nigeria is more important than protecting somebody's ambition of becoming the next president by hook or by crook. No one should be allowed to have that kind of right. Let the people's choice speak. It must not be forced on them. Don't allow yourself to be used as an instrument in the hands of this evil politician. And I want to advise you, it's very obvious, the ones that we can trust, that we can see, the handwriting is obvious, that they have what it takes to move this nation forward, and they are young and vibrant and visionary, and that is Peter Obi and Baba Ahmed. Let's give them a chance. And if you've not been bribed, even if you've been bribed, think about the future. You have a heart, you have a conscience. Let the fear of God determine and decide what you do in this coming election. It is said, a word is enough for the wise. And I know you are wise and you will do the right thing. Thank you for watching this video. Please go ahead and share it with as many people as you can. Let it go all over the nation. Let it go viral. We need to sensitize the people. We need to wake the people up so that they do the right thing, so that everybody is on alert. This is our time to take our nation back. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe now. May God bless you. May God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria. I look forward to seeing you in my next broadcast. Once again, this is your friend and brother, Dr. Haruna Goro. Bye-bye for now.